Good day! Welcome back for another vlog of Balto. We first noticed this ward last September 15. So we ordered some medicine to treat this. Hello! <laughs> so Balto is having another ward. <laughs> you wanna hold mommy? Hmm? You wanna hold mommy? Same medicine to Yoxidentalis. And I'm just waiting for this order to arrive. Mm -hmm. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the difference in treating oral papillomavirus versus warts grown on their body or legs or arms or elbows. Big boy. It's grown. Checking lungs with heart. <laughs> okay, so the Thuya Occidentalis finally arrived. I give this to Balto with his either wet food or for this time I'm giving it with his treats. So I ordered this set of Dr. Shiba treats that I give to him first thing in the morning. So the dosage that I give to Balto for his leg wart is 12 capsules or 12 pieces of Tuya Occidentalis and then also 12 pieces of these Dr. Shiba treats. You can use any other treats, you can use wet food. Just choose something that's very palatable to your pet. Balto tends to use his tongue to flick out the Tuya Occidentalis. So you have to be very mindful and observe that your pet is ingesting all of the capsules so as not to waste it. <laughs> As you can see, even our cats love Dr. Shiba treats. I tend to crush some of the treats so that Balto would have to lick out everything in the bowl and it makes sure that he eats all of the medicines. So I give this to him first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. <laughs> Every day, you have to be very diligent. So I give this to him for the past two weeks. Aside from that, I also use these. I have this pre-formulated D3 gel that I put topically on the wart. To make sure that it dries out and falls off easily. I noticed that it's easier for you to treat oral papillomavirus versus dog warts that has grown outside the oral cavities. So for oral warts, it was so easy. It was done in only four days, but this, it took us two weeks, plus this topical application of tea tree ointment. And I also spray lemongrass, hydrosol around his body just to deter insects. Um, I also noticed that flies are 
loving the wart, so I used the lemongrass spray to deter flies. It looks bigger. So for leg wart, we notice it took longer. This is about a week after treating him. But mm, flatter. And I noticed that the leg wart is still there. I was actually uh, um, double guessing if I should take him to the vet at this point. But I still was diligent in giving him the pills and applying topical tea tree ointment. Okay, so it's almost two weeks of treating Balto with his leg wart. Let's trick him with this. And come on. Come on, Balto. So we'll, yeah, good boy. So closer inspection. Okay. <laughs> Wait. What's it Balto? Closer inspection against the light, pero here you can see na flat na siya. Natanggal na yung dried wart. Can't see it well. No? Pero wala na yung wart. But we still continue applying the topical tea tea ointment, which I made. And tapos na yung two weeks niya na Suya Occidentalis pills. Yan. So it took him two weeks, but it's more difficult than the oral work. So it would get bigger and then darker as it dries out before it falls off on its second week. Exactly on the 14th day, it fell off. I will be coming out with another video that will be addressing all your questions about Toya Occidentalis, its dosage, treatment, and perhaps the deviations from treating oral warts and leg warts. So there you go guys, I guess that's all for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and Balto. It means so much to us that you are here watching this video. Thank you so much and I hope you follow him on Instagram and we'll see you on our next video. Bye!